some hardware. This is mine. I don't leave the house without it. You're all sad Thank you, you too. Nope. How's it going? Our trip to the hardware store was a success. We got our M10 one bolt, and this is the only thing that was stopping us from having a brake system today. And now, there's nothing stopping us. Well, let me not say nothing, because you never know, but. Thanks, air compressor, if y'all remember. This is the master cylinder that we were using for our brake system. I bought this just off of Amazon. This is a rear brake master cylinder for a Suzuki GSX-R. Online, they don't give you specs on how much fluid these things are moving. They don't give you any kind of specs whatsoever. So I bought this with no reference and just thought, yeah, we'll try it. It was 15 bucks, not gonna work. So what I got instead is this. This is our new master cylinder. If you can't tell, a little bit beefier. Just a little. Just a little. This is the master cylinder that comes off of one of those uh, 660 Rhinos, the, the uh, same UTV that we got this brake caliper from. So this one should be moving just the right amount of fluid. All we gotta do, I've already got my brackets in, we'll get this thing installed, plumb it up. I'm gonna have to fix my rear brake, got uh, misaligned and so we're gonna have to resurface our rotor. So we'll smooth that out, get this thing in. We should have some brakes. I already went through and obviously cut out all the mounts for this, welded everything up over here. So we're in pretty good shape and we should have some brakes to test for today. Let's get after it. Yeah, man. All right, this probably isn't the right way to do it, but I've got to resurface this brake rotor because my brakes were kind of installed weird um, as we were trying to make things work. And we got some metal on metal and I got to smooth that out. So I'm just gonna start this thing up, let it idle, and we're gonna hit it with the 120 grit flat discs and hopefully we can smooth this thing back out. Pump 
pretty confident in this one. We're always pretty confident, but I think this one's gonna work this time. Let's roll this thing out and we'll get some testing in. A little wet, but that could be fun. I don't think it skid like he was hoping to. He might need a little adjustment. It's nice. Big upgrade. Yeah, I think that's completely adequate. On, on pavement, it's not gonna lock him up, but in the dirt, it very well might. How about on the grass? Should we try it? Sure. Okay, you add a little corner, it'll lock them up in the dirt. But honestly, this is kind of perfect. Cause you don't need to just jump on and have them lock up on the road. Like Right, right. But I think that feels pretty good, man. Try it out. All right. This is like a Red Bull commercial. This thing rips. <laughs> I want my governor out. <laughs> Your turn. Very cool. Yeah? Those feel really nice. You got control now. Body control. No more sketchiness. E-brake works, steering's good. Dangerously sendable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we do one more test? I think you're wrong thinking. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. That's cool. Who needs traction? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say that's a success on the brakes. No more issues. Pedal feels good. Does exactly what it needs to do. I can stop now. That's what brakes are for. Yeah, dude. Yeah, nice upgrade. Yeah, so that's perfect. And now we know exactly what we're doing on yours. Yeah. I just got to get you another one of these big boy master cylinders. Yeah, that is sick. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. We'll probably put yours in the exact same place, honestly. Test track, like I said, man, already proving useful. Having brakes makes that a totally different track. Once it's graded, yeah. then oh. you can really fly. Oh yeah. The track's still pretty bumpy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. But this thing was eating it up. We, uh, we, we threw a little dirt. Yeah. I'd really? say, yeah, I see some dirt in there. Yeah, there's an argument to be made for fenders, but the argument against is, how crazy this thing looks right now. I think it's mostly the front wheels just digging it in as I'm turning, kicking it up and in. Maybe we'll do something. Make something removable. Yeah, it could look sick with fenders too. Yeah, we got time. 
That literally means this cart, all like the big systems are pretty much good to go. I'm still gonna put the lights on, do the electric start. I got a bunch of stuff in the mail for that, but this thing is coming right along. So this new brake system is gonna be huge. That's gonna be a big upgrade for you too, so. Yeah. And after zipping around on this, we might want to pull my governor. Yeah, throw a high torque uh, cam in there, advance the timing a little bit. Maybe we'll talk to Go Power Sports about that, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, this thing's really coming along. If y'all want to see more of this cart and more of our builds, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit those notifications. That's right. And we'll catch y'all on the next one. All right. We know y'all been asking for it, so there's your vacuum sequence, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Notifications. Ding! <laughs> Cut.